Delhi police has arrested a Nepali national from East Delhi for providing Indian SIM cards to Pakistan's ISI and attempting to gather details on defense establishments including the RDO and army units. India will expand its military spy satellite network from 12 satellites to 78 by 2031. Hal and Isro have signed a technology transfer agreement in Bangalore for the small satellite launch vehicle. A Pakistan Air Force Mirage 5 fighter jet has crashed during a training sortie near Sagoda. Surya Dipto Projects has launched the 11th ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge for the Indian Navy. India, Iran and Armenia held their third trilateral meeting in Tehran and agreed to strengthen cooperation on the international north-south transport corridor. The Ukrainian army has converted Indian-made Tatar Zenon 4x4 pickups into combat vehicles by mounting old Maxim heavy machine guns to shoot down Russian drones. The Indian Navy is integrating 30 kW directed energy weapons to counter drones, and 100 kW systems will be integrated on its aircraft carriers to counter cruise missiles. The Indian Navy is planning to procure a tethered UAV-based electronic warfare system integrating electronic intelligence and communications intelligence sensors. The DRDO has unveiled the Digital Active Phased Array Radar, which is a multifunction 4D rotating active phased array system with a 200 km detection range for two square meter radar cross-section targets. GTRE has publicly unveiled the Cavalry derivative engine with an afterburner for the first time, aiming to deliver 80 kN thrust, comparable to the 84 kN F404 powering Tejas Mark 1A. GTRE has successfully completed an accelerated simulated endurance mission test of the Cavalry derivative engine, which simulates entire mission profiles of unmanned combat aerial vehicle over extended cycles. It demonstrated strong performance in rapid throttle cycling, thermal resilience, fuel-efficient cruise runs, and infrared suppression. Despite claims by several YouTube channels, there is no evidence that Pakistan's Prime Minister has requested the Russian S-400 system. Current Pakistan-Russia ties are limited to diplomacy and trade, and not advanced defense acquisitions. The Indian Air Force plans to acquire anti-swarm drone systems to protect bases and high-value assets. These systems will use kinetic interceptors to destroy hostile drones, complementing electronic jamming and laser defenses. Indigenous firms like Bharat Electronics and Tato Advanced Systems, along with global solutions from Israel and the US are being evaluated under the Make in India initiative. The 250 km range M2 interceptor and 400 km range M3 interceptor of Project Kusha will use altitude control motors for real time course corrections and hit to kill precision, that will make instant mid flight course corrections at high speeds and altitudes, ensuring precise hit to kill strikes against agile enemy targets. The M2 and M3 interceptors are slated for tests in 2027 and 2028 respectively, and they will complement the S-400 system, strengthening India's multi-layered air defense. India's indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant will receive a new long-range interceptor missile with a 250 km range within five years, complementing its current 100 km MR SAM. The upgrade will create a layered air defense shield, as it will enable INS Vikrant to engage threats at much greater distances, providing enhanced protection against long-range anti-ship missiles, high-altitude aircraft and even ballistic missiles. Today's top 3 comments.